My name is Lena Phillips. And as it turned out, I ended up being the first female motor woman. I joined in September 1974. We were hired according to our last names. It was Sandra Watkins and Marilyn Jackson, I believe, were the first two prior to my coming. And then I was hired with one other lady. Her name was Doris O'Neill. Doris, of course, was ahead of me. So I was number four female hired on the trains. The other two ladies went to motor school before I did because they were hired before me. When I came out of motor school, I went directly to start my road time. And uh, I was called into the office by the superintendent at that time and, and said, uh, Ms. Phillips, you're going to have your first solo run. And I'm like, okay, all right. But then he goes, you're going to, there's going to be cameras there you know, uh, the cameraman, and you're gonna have an instructor with you in the motor cab. So I'm like, oh my goodness, and it's in the dead of winter too. So you have to worry about not overshooting your stop. And um, as it turned out, it was kind of a hectic day, but I got through it okay, I, I did. They really didn't have women, um, you know, the uniforms cut for women at that time. When they gave us the uniform allowance, I got the smallest jacket they had. I was, of course, very small then. And I did have to have it, you know, tailored for me so I wouldn't look so, it wouldn't look so big on me. I've never worked a job where there were all men, you know, so that was something new for me. And it was new for the guys as well because they um, were not used to having women around. So it was truly uh, an experience, I tell you.